Meanwhile, Western Chambers have also called for increased funding for the Mayo-based airport. Achill native and CEO of the Galway Chamber, Kenny Deary, says the airport is of critical importance to the West in providing essential connectivity to global markets for regional businesses, in providing a gateway for much-needed tourists and in attracting foreign direct investment into the region. Ireland West Airport Knock is really critical to employment in the region and to sustaining employment in the region. You know, we're talking about continued regional development. As a region, we're already well behind our peers in Europe. And mo- now more than ever, we need a strong and a well-funded airport. And it's vital for tourism in the region. You know, we know the, the huge importance in the West and Northwest of overseas visitors coming to tour the wild Atlantic Way, diaspora visitors coming back. So all this feeds into jobs and sustaining the region. And we met the minister last week, the, the chambers uh, across Mayo, we had Castlebar, Clamaris, Ballina, Ballyhonas and Westport, Saigo and indeed ourselves in Galway, and really drove home the message to the minister, who, who to be fair is, is from the West and, and understands the importance and significance of regional air connectivity, but drove home to the minister that continued funding now and into the future is vital. Our airport has taken years to develop to where it is now. You know, it's a, it's a world class. It's something that we can be really proud of. And it's important for us to get in and out of the West. But they have a shortfall in funding this year, not as a result of anything they've done themselves, but this pandemic. Uh, and their, their shortfall is well noted to be in the region of four million. So we've called for extra funding through the regional airports program for 2020 for Ireland West NOC mm. and equally increased funding for next year. And it's important also the conversation with the Minister covered the supports for airlines to continue flying into the regions because these routes and attracting an airline is a big deal for an airport, but then trying to develop out and increase routes is a huge amount of work, energy and investment that's needed. And what we're seeing bit by bit is the unravelling of routes. And and I think it's important people are, are not as animated about this as they should be because they think, well, when a vaccine is found and all this is over, and please God, it will be at some stage, sure, we'll be able to go back flying again. But there's no guarantee that we have the routes or those airlines. Yeah, so because prior to prior to COVID, Kenny, um, like last year, Ireland West Airport Knock was one of their busiest years, 807,000 passengers. And this year, all the indication, the hopes were I was going to get to that all-important 1 million figure. But as you said, COVID hit. It's going to be very difficult for not just Ireland West Airport Knock, the entire aviation sectors. That's where the real uncertainty lies. OK, people say they will use the airport again but as you said will the airlines be there and, and that's the, the bit that i think people miss you know airlines at the end of the day are commercial entities and they will send their planes where they will get higher load factors and better margins on those routes and typically what we're seeing already in ireland is there's a huge dysfunction of 35 million passengers in and out last year 31 million went through dublin so we already have a huge disconnect and the airlines are buying for flights in and out of Dublin because they know they'll have higher load factors and they'll have higher earnings on those flights. So Joe and the team at NOC and the Board of Ireland West have already done a huge amount of work to convince airlines to continue to build routes and keep routing them through Ireland West and then the airport is working hugely to try and promote passenger use of those services. And what we find once once airlines begin to withdraw those services is bit by bit, it's really, really hard. There's a tough mountain to climb now for Ireland West as it is to try and rebuild capacity for 22, 23 and 24 when hopefully we're back to normal flying conditions. But the last thing we all want to be doing is getting on a bus from Mayo, from Galway and from Sligo heading to Dublin to queue for hours going through security when we have our wonderful airport in, in Ireland West in Knock. And I think I would encourage any of your listeners to engage with politicians at all levels. There is still an opportunity to address this that was made very clear to the minister. The November economic plan is being worked on at the moment at government levels. And we were very clear in the ask last week, there's additional funding sought for this year, next year, and indeed a commitment to the future of regional airports. And I think that's the the clear message we want to deliver through chambers. And that's Akil Native and CEO of the Galway Chamber, Kenny Deary.